if you have no children yet, you honestly think both parties have to sit at like so the woman has to sit at home while you run off to New York. What I'm saying is um, good partnerships complement each other. They're not the same. Right. So uh, it's kind of like good cop, bad cop. Like if if one party is the hustler, the grinder, the go getter, the other party has to know how to complement that. Right. Like LeBron James wouldn't still be married to Savannah if she was in the WNBA. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah, I wanna feel so aligned. Sublime. Feminism. Has it helped us or hurt us? Um, you know it's hurt us. Um, it's just one of those, another one of those lies that we were told, you know what I'm saying? The separation. Constantly being separated hurted us each time or whatever like that. That's why revolutionary trying to come together. Like, it is hard to try to come together. It's not just love. Like, it's love and an instant war. Like, it's almost like, oh, you chose love today? Oh, okay, we'll strap up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. What do you feel like the, the it's a two-part question. Do you feel like there's a black female delegation? If there is, what do you feel like the black female delegation needs to do to help move this along? Have more pussy control. Honestly. Elaborate, break that down. Um, for one, like I said earlier, knowing the power of it. Um, not spreading it out. I feel like I feel like rewarding those who need to be rewarded, almost on some like back to kingdom type shit. Oh, to, you know, I wouldn't like that, but I feel like almost if we had meetings, like he doesn't deserve it this week or something like that. I feel like that shit would help. You know what I'm saying? Even if like just to keep it a buck, women know when they're all dating the same dude. You know what I'm saying? So y'all need to need to get together and make that shit act right. And I'm not gonna say just dating or whatever. Like, let's say it's like a guy and he has like a baby mama and a wife or whatever like that. You two need to come together. Like after y'all get done with the BS of not like each other and y'all realize we're in the thick of this for the long run, like you're gonna be around forever. Y'all need to form some type of relationship. So like polygamy? Not polygamy, even though like if they're still, if they're still all sexually encountered, I always tell people you're looking in a polygamous relationship whether you wanna claim that or not, but you know. But if it's just like respect or whatever, like she got her own situation, you just gotta be wrong. Let's say it's not toxic or whatever like that. Regardless of the matter, if there's kids involved, other women involved, y'all have to come together. You know what I'm saying? And it's his job to make sure everybody's happy or whatever. And it's his job also to make sure he's not slipping in different pots, fucking up the flow of everything or whatever. Because people want to fuck all the baby mamas and expect everything to go right. Unless everybody's okay with that, shit isn't going to go right. You know what I'm saying? So you know each one of the women. You know what each one of them needs. This one needs money. This one needs dick. This one needs time. This one needs... You need to supply that or you shouldn't have all those women. You know what I'm saying? But... Back to the black woman delegation, because I don't know how that swung into polygamy or whatever like that. Back to the black woman delegation or whatever like that. I just feel like, for one, learning how to trust each other. You know what I'm saying? Like black women trusting black women? Yeah. So taking a lot of the hate off the table would help or whatever like that first. Even in black men, because y'all can't even go to certain hoods without running into like, or looking suspicious to each other. You know what I'm saying? Killing each other. So I feel like trust against, with each sex, by themselves is important. And I feel like everybody having, like you said, a purpose, their position. Like, okay, you replenish, you do the guarding. Like, and this is really taking it all the way back to simple times. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody having their place and everybody having their purpose makes everybody happier. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, if we got 10 chiefs and y'all just need to be a chief, okay, well, I'll find 10 different places to put y'all. And we put y'all with the Indians and everything works. But we all got in the same room, which is what's happening now. Shit's getting fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, I just feel like we naturally form those groups in friendship anyway. Like somebody's the leader, somebody's the this, the that, the da, 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 da. So I don't know. I don't even know if that made sense. If that all tied in at the end, but yeah, no, I don't think a lot of hate out of the way, more love and more delegating where everybody's positioned at, I feel like would help in the community, period. And being realistic with what's going on. What do you mean? Just like I said with the whole baby mama thing or whatever like that. Like oh, okay. People like to lie to themselves, like, be realistic so we can get this shit handled and move forward. Gotcha. Why do you think, um, 
why do you think so many black men are like, like one, one guy commented a while back and he was like, I love what you're doing. I hope you save black relationships, but like, I'm out. He said he's out? He said he's out. Now, what struck me by that is- You don't really like what I'm doing. No, 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 no. Because what struck me by that was he could have said, fuck what you're doing. Stop doing that shit. I'm out. It's too uh, late. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. He was like, save them, but I'm out. Right? So we got into a conversation like, like, what happened to you? Right? And it was like, yo, like a lot of the guys, and, and I'm talking about guys from like 25 to 65. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like most of my viewers are old. <laughs> yeah. And they're talking about like one guy, he was telling me when he got with his girl, he was an alcoholic. He was fucked up, mm. right? He got his life together. She started complaining that he wasn't fun anymore. Mm. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And she left him. But listen, you just gotta let some motherfuckers go. Like everybody's not meant to, I hate when people try to like put a hold on love or whatever like that. We'll never do that. You know what I'm saying? Like some people are just experiencing it. I think that's easier said than done only because there's a financial consequence. Not only the emotional consequence, there's a financial consequence. There are kids involved. They're different, th they're different variables. So it's easy to say, let somebody go. But like some people, fought. It's, it's another woman. She was on, um, was it Ty Kendra G? She was on Kendra G show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's been married twice. Yeah. She, she was on her show trying to find another man. She got divorced from the first guy while she was pregnant for the second guy. In court, pregnant for the second guy, got the second guy to pay for her divorce from the first guy. Now she's divorcing the second guy and is looking for a man to pay for the divorce for the, for the second guy. Right. And what's crazy is she said that she she divorced both of them for the same reason. They said. Oh, she wow. said they're controlling. Clearly, she likes controlling men. No, she she doesn't like men. Oh, she doesn't like men? It was, she's bi. But my, yeah. she, she was saying that, you know, they, they got with me because I'm sexy and all that. And then when they get me, they don't want me to be sexy no more. Right? So I blame the men. I, I was just about to say. You know I'm, saying? I'm say, like, like, you knew what you were signing up for. So I don't even feel bad for you. But what I'm saying is these are, and this is what breaks my heart. Both her kids. She has two sons. Uh-huh. Two sons. Oh, watching all of that. Boys. Yeah. Imagine how those boys are going to grow up. No, I've met men after a mother like that. Yeah, I've seen the aftermath of that. It's wild. But a lot of times we, I think we coddle women emotionally. We say that, oh, she, there must have been a reason. She did the best she could. Not knowing that women be fucking up homes, bro. Now, if women do be fucking up homes, I definitely agree. But men get coddled too. Like, men get coddled. In the household, bro. Like, especially if they have a decent, like, a good mother or whatever like that. The girl is always going to get harder growing up than the male son. You get coddled in that time. We might get coddled in the world, but you get coddled in that time. But that's why you need a man in the house. Because women, women will do that. And I think that's one of the biggest disservices you could do a boy. Because guess what? When he step out into the world, it's going to punch him in the face. So, I, I, so it's not, like, mutually exclusive. I'm like, no, don't do that. But... When you don't have that masculine energy in the house to check that, it, it, and I hear a lot of women say, you know, my brother was pampered and I was the one who had to do everything. Yeah, you get and raised like, fast as hell being a girl. And that turns you into a dude. Actually, that's what's happening. A lot of black women, single black are mothers are creating yeah. men who are women that's true. and women who are men. You got boys and you got niggas out here who feel like, oh, you're supposed to pay all the bills. You're supposed to do everything for yeah, me no. while I sit and play 2K. It's disgraceful. No, I'm not that far gone, but yeah, it does happen. Especially in uh, the area. <laughs> Love you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Should I say that? <laughs> like the, the area. The area. <laughs> the area. Was it 803? Is it 803? It's 803. It's 803. Yeah. Okay. We ain't gonna shout it out on that though. We, nah. can shout, we can shout it out on something better than that though. Yeah, I mean, most of the viewers are like, I think Texas is number one, then Georgia is number two, then New York is number three. So. And what? Uh, as far as viewership. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Columbia might not even see it. Oh, they gonna, because I'm on it, they're gonna see it. They're seeing it now, shit. Yeah, and then people in Texas, they don't know. 
It's Columbia, South Carolina. Small it's cool. City. It's okay. like don't even do Columbia. <laughs> I'm not about to let you do Columbia like that, okay? Because I still stay out there. So calm down, okay? So let me ask you this: what um what question do you have for black men? Because I, I the biggest thing I want to promote is curiosity. Because we can't have good conversation if we're not genuinely curious about one another from a place of, I don't fully understand you, black man. I don't fully understand you, black woman. What scares you about a woman's love outside of your mother? Define love. Love. I love you. I want to grow up with you. Let's be together forever. Love. I don't know if you've ever seen um, like those movies where it's like a secret agent and he was trained by the Russians or whatever. And because he's such a, yeah, like he's a high level assassin or whatever. Yeah. He can't have no family. He can't yeah. have no, because it makes him weak. Mm. All right. So I think when, when dudes are in hunting mode, when we're still trying to cultivate something and build something, mm. if I need to hop in a car and drive to New York, I don't need to be calling my gay girl, I gotta go to New York. I'm not going to see no other bitch. I gotta do some shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, why not have someone who is evenly yoked? Because we're evenly yoked, how? Let's talk about that. They live in that same lifestyle or they understand it? It's not compatible. Why not? I think we need to divorce ourselves of this boss couple idea. It is a fallacy. It doesn't work in real life. So we you honestly need... think somebody has to like sit? If you have no children yet, you honestly think both parties have to sit at like so the woman has to sit at home while you run off to New York. What I'm saying is um, good partnerships complement each other. They're not the same. Right. So uh, it's kind of like good cop, bad cop. Like if if one party is the hustler, the grinder, the go getter, the other party has to know how to complement that. Right. Like LeBron James wouldn't still be married to Savannah if she was in the WNBA. I don't think like that. Not so much combat on the same level as that, but I'm just saying like moving like okay, I used to date this guy once, right? And I used to do um shows with my mother or whatever. So I was always on the road or whatever. But so was he. So each time we would meet up in different cities or whatever like that. And that was like the bulk of our dating. If we weren't, then we were in his city majority of the time. But we still were in the same flow together. Like you saying that's not compatible. It works in your twenties. In the 30s, 40s, that doesn't work, no. I feel like it works before children. And then maybe, no. I think it could work for a select group of people. But if we're trying to think from a nation mindset, from a community mindset, it's not something that's sustainable. Like a very particular set of people have to make that happen. But thinking about it like just realistically, it's not sustainable because... I don't believe that. If, for instance, one of, one of the conversations that I have sometimes is... Let's say you're running a very successful um, event. Well, you do run a very successful event in Columbia, South Carolina. And you're like us. We couldn't coincide. Okay, let me ask you this. If I get a job at Google mm -hmm. and I have to move to California, yeah. are you moving? Yeah. You're going to leave your event. Not my event, because my whole thing, and once again, I'm a motherfucker who's like, everything work how I want it to work, right? So for one, I'm excited as hell. We about to move to California. You got a job at Google. So that re that's a conversation that's had. And this is before children, I'm guessing. Or before, even, during, yeah. Yeah, but I say even if it's during whatever, of course, I feel like children sit everything down. Because I already told myself I'm not trying to work when I get pregnant anyway. So I would already naturally fall in line with that anyways. But Sierra okay. before children is yeah. different Sierra. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I keep saying, like, it depends on, like, the flow of things. But I would instantly go to Google. And one, I have my event going, hopefully here, strong enough where there's already a team set. I can fly back and handle it for a weekend. I can still live in California. See, no, see, that makes sense. I'm talking about both people still hustling and all that. Two hustlers, no, it doesn't. It doesn't work. I feel like at the beginning, they need, we got to be a leader. How the hell are we gonna? But I'm saying, which direction are we going? We're going in the same direction. Not necessarily. If you need to fly to California, I got to fly to New York. Who's looking after the kids? I keep telling you this is before kids. I know you got kids on the brain no, because no, you I'm have saying, children. I'm saying like. Because I'm all about sustainability. Yeah. I'm all about, okay, it can work now, but is it going to work 10 years? And that's why I feel like conversation is so important. 
Because if we enter conversation together and we're dating and I'm just like, I'm all about the hustle. Don't expect me to have your kids or none of that. You know, like, then you already instantly know that this isn't sustainable. This shit is going to have to end at some point. This is going to be hustle bay until I find a new bay. You know what I'm saying? But if you're talking to her and it's just like, hey, I'm down to hustle until, you know, I have my first child. And then, you know, I'm all about just getting domesticated. Are you going to be able to handle that? You know what I'm saying? Here's the other thing, though. A lot of times. What? This is also marriage. We're talking like a real relationship, not dating. Because dating is skeptical. Cause yeah, it's like, yeah, but it, but ain't it's, no paperwork. But it's the pregame, though. It is like the a lot of people say, "Oh, I'm not gonna do 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 yeah. while we're dating," but suddenly I'm gonna do it. I don't know how to, right? And that's what happens a lot. You hear women, "I ain't gonna cook until I get married." No. Where did that. you get your recipe? That's from? extreme or whatever. Like but that. I'm saying a lot of times we think something magically changes when I, people say I do, but but it that's one thing why conversation is had. Because if I was talking to you and just like when I was throwing Bible out and you weren't responding to that, I'm taking mental note of that shit. Cause it's like, hmm, you know, I didn't tell Well, that, that's because I'm critical of our Christianity. But, but that's, but, but that's but a past, whole conversation. But that's past a whole that, though, it's just the fact that when you're dating, you're, you're literally taking information, you know, by the day. So if I keep throwing out the fact that I'm not working when I get pregnant and you're not the type who can sustain through that, or whatever, like, or you're not even trying to mentally prepare for like, okay, if I get this girl pregnant, she's not working, I'm gonna have to be able to hold it down for a year. That's why that, you know, so we decide like, you know what, I like you and all, the D is good, but I said this five times, you're not responding, Thanks. so with that, you know, so that all comes with dating and people I have agree. to have better discernment of one another. I agree, but I think the other piece that we haven't really touched on is- What? The other problem with the boss bay scenario is the fact that what makes you successful in business tends to clash with what makes you successful in relationship. Only because, like, a lot of our women right now are killing it. They're killing it in corporate America, at their law firms, at their, their doctors, the whole nine. And there's a certain mindset, there's a certain disposition you have to have to kill it out in the world. But if you come back home and you start talking to me like I'm one of your employees. Once again... All goes back to communication and all goes back to you, black man, getting out of your head. You know what I'm saying? Because that is you drawing up in the conclusion that ain't even happened yet. You seen your homeboy get talked too crazy. You like, man, that bitch make more money than him. She be talking to him crazy. Now I'm dating this girl to make more money than me. She gonna do me the same way. That's not true. It happens a lot. It, I'm sure it does, but that's not everybody's. Just like you're a unicorn, I'm a unicorn. You know what I'm saying? So that's not everybody's case. So, okay. What What are your parting words? What are your My parting what's, words. what's your What's your overall kind of what needs to happen? Because we gotta get we gotta get black men with black women. All this divest stuff and save yourself, black men, and it's crazy out here. You know what I think needs to happen? This intimate settings continuously. Um, I'll even say this on my parting words or whatever like that. I, for a long time in life, were like scared of black men or whatever, in a sense, or even like talking to them. Like girls I grew up with will tell you. And I couldn't even like maintain eye contact. I couldn't even register being liked even. Like they'd be like, yeah, you know, he like you or whatever like that. And it'd just be like, and it's because I'm a very shapely girl. So as soon as I got of any type of age, it was like a thousand sex talks. And it was just like, they just want to have sex with you. They just wanted this, da 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 blah, blah, blah. So it's like instantly, just like you're saying, like the girls are looking at you like you're a victim or something. It's almost programmed, you know what I'm saying? From all the men in your family, women, like the lies they tell you about sex before you actually jump into it or whatever like that. So it took time to even communicate on this level, you know? And it's why I do straight talk on Chaser because I personally, needed it. So I feel like a lot of us have a fear of one another without even knowing it, you know? And it's like, we have to take that wall down first. And then if I approach you more like friend, you know, and you actually can hold up to that and I can trust myself first. Cause like people have to have their own discernment cause they're going to be slick people out here. Just like you talk about a girl having a thousand divorces. She just getting dues to pay her bills off and on. Like that's gay. And she bisexual. She working on these period. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just game. It happens. But for people who want it to work, I feel like communication needs to be a high key thing. And not just like in a relationship, just like the prequel to it. 
Just talking. You know? I agree. I agree too.